Greetings Ronin, Pyle here and in this video we'll be taking a look at the most essential skills that you have to unlock as soon as you are able. Granted at this point in the adventure I am level 14 and I have already explored a big chunk of the starting areas. For the purposes of this vid I'm gonna stick to what is 100% the must and then provide some alternatives for more advanced abilities. Since the game does provide a small vid at the bottom right of the screen, we will be using them as reference instead of just boggling the vid with needless gameplay. Within the strength, charisma and intelligence trees, there exist abilities that are tied to dialogue. For strength, it is the intimidation speechcraft skill. To get this, you need to start from the fourth column of the weakened enemies morale down. If you start as the killer origin, you will have level one of this by default. And then one point down, you can get speechcraft. This will allow you to intimidate characters during dialogues. This will net you certain rewards in specific situations and can even lead to avoiding certain fights throughout the course of the game. For charm we have evil doing speechcraft, this will allow you to lie to the person you're talking to, also unlocking new outcomes. And for intellect we have the business acumen persuade. These are really easy to get and you can get them with your first skill points at pretty much the start of the game if you explore around a little. I highly recommend them because it will allow you to handle some situations in the game according to what you want to do without forcing you to take specific outcomes. If there is any role playing to be gained out of this game apart from how your character is built, it is these three skills. So I highly suggest you prioritize them as soon as possible. Of course the meat and potatoes of this game is the combat first and foremost and I will be showcasing my favorite abilities from each tree starting with what I think will help you overall and then moving to some more nuanced things. If you feel like you are short on healing, in each one of the trees there is a node that allows you to gain more medicinal pills every time you rest. Is the first column third row on strength? First column fourth row in dexterity? First column fourth row on charm? And first column second row on intellect. Now intellect allows you to replenish up to plus two so if you want to invest in this kind of approach intellect is the way to do it. You can get it pretty early and it will not hinder your progress much because you know the second row. Then I would go to charm and get one point into each of the second column choices. This is increased enemy coin acquisition, additional item drop, additional item drop from money sacks and additional item drops from enemies. This will improve your overall economy as you keep playing the game. This game can take you upwards from 100 hours and having a strong economy to be able to upgrade what you want and equip yourself according to the task at hand is a huge boon. This don't take as many points as you would think to get to the fourth tier. So take the time, explore, max them out and you'll see the abundance of coin and materials that you will start getting once these are unlocked. Gonna start with the very basics of combat and survival. Now please note that I am playing on Twilight, the hardest difficulty settings. So stealth for me has been a lifesaver. If you play on a lower setting, stealth might not be as important, but rapid assassination on the dexterity tree is absolutely a lifesaver. Get it as soon as you can, followed by the grappling rope assassination. This pretty much nullifies the need to get into the thick of it. You can grab an enemy from an elevated position, snap their necks and leave them dead. Standard rules for bosses apply, you will deal some damage but not necessarily kill them. So if you want to be 100% sure that things won't go south, be ready for that counter attack. On the strength tree, go flash attack on the fifth column and then go weapon proficiency acquisition to level 3. I'm saying this because there are loads of weapons in Rise of the Ronin and each one requires an insane amount of proficiency experience 
to max out. So this 12% that you see here will absolutely help you each step of the way and with each increase in proficiency you get other bonuses and points to spend which will incrementally eventually lead to many more unlocks for you to enjoy. Very very important. As for flash attack, if you come from the Neo series, you know it is the blade flash transitioning into a weapon swap, increases your available key and continuing the combo. Kinda nuanced, a bit more advanced, but since you will be having it pretty early on if you follow this guide, try and acclimate yourself with it. You will be surprised at how useful it is. Strength, again, rapid critical hits will allow you to take out all enemies on the arena that have run out of key in quick succession. You will be surprised how many times this will become available through the course of the game, so grab this early. Going back to Charm, Key Recovery Blade Flash is an amazing addition to how much key you can recover every time you execute a Blade Flash. By the way, if you don't know what all these mechanics are, I have a complete combat breakdown at the end of this video that you will be able to watch afterward. So stay focused here for the time being and then you can go and watch that and complete your knowledge base when it comes to how the game functions. Still in charm, Beast Whisperer at level 2, you can sneak up to animals and tame them with triangle instead of killing them. This will make clearing camps that much easier because what it basically means is that it neutralizes the threat from an animal. It is an extremely useful one that will make your life that much easier. Spend just one point in combined critical and the charm tree and your allies will be able to follow up with a critical of their own practically doubling the damage of every critical attack i don't need to break it down to you this is pretty much double the hurt for just one skill point which is exceptionally good and you should all get it these are pretty much the starting ones that you would suggest you get now to make your life even easier Continue from Grappling Rope Assassination to Ranged Cowering Effect. This increases the maximum key damage you can deal to your surroundings upon a successful assassination. This combined with Rapid Assassinations means that you kill one enemy, but you have an already debilitated one beside them that they will just stand and look at you as you click the triangle button to take them out, and then you build so much panic to the surrounding enemies that you will probably have a third assassination attempt creating a snowball effect that will make these surprise attacks insanely effective i highly recommend you put the points in this tree because the final one the full sprint assassination nullifies the need to sneak up to enemies you can just sprint away click triangle when you're close and you will take them out that might not sound like such a big deal, but consider, if you're trying to follow an enemy, maybe a lone enemy or a faraway enemy who is patrolling something and you simply cannot close the distance, they will eventually turn around, see you and start a fuss. With this, you just sprint towards them, click the button, kill them and go about your merry way. If the points have been racking up, go back to strength and take the second column all the way down, just one point in increased critical hit damage because we don't have as many points as needed necessarily. Put one in critical hit damage, you can put up to three for plus 8% damage, but that is pretty expensive. What we want is key recovery on a critical hit, will increase your key recovery by 30% whenever you execute a critical hit. What does that mean? You might be on your last breath when you finally score that critical and whilst the enemy is prone on the ground you will not be able to damage them further. With this you'll have key available to perform a short combo before they get up to their feet. It is exceptionally good, albeit a bit more expensive to reach. Last but not least, an intellect, go to barter, equipment upgrades and finally discernment this allows you to locate additional inventory when you talk to a peddler, a marketeer, a blacksmith, an apothecary. They will have extra items that you will be able to inspect and buy, thus increases your chances of getting the gear you want and equipping according to your needs. So this is it Ronin, my guide on the most essential skills in the game, watch the vid on the left if you want to have optimal settings while playing the game, or the vid on the right if you want to understand the intricacies of the combat system. Until next time be well, stay frosty and always travel perfection.
Cheers!